The diagram represents the progression and evolution of Keynesian economics theories throughout history. It begins with Keynesian economics, originally developed by John Maynard Keynes, which advocates for government intervention to ensure full employment and desired economic outcomes. This was followed by the emergence of neo-Keynesian economics, which combined Keynesian ideas with post-war neoclassical theories and dominated economic thought. In the post-war era, however, during the 1970s, a period of stagflation arose, which led to questions and disagreements among economists about traditional Keynesian theories. In response to this, New Keynesian economics developed in the 1980s, which further adapted Keynesian theories to modern economic conditions and limitations. Simultaneously, new classical macroeconomics was emerging, which incorporated more free market ideas into economic thought. These two new theories, New Keynesian economics and New Classical Macroeconomics, led to the creation of the new neoclassical synthesis which is an amalgamation of both theories that is heavily relied upon today by economists. Parallel to these developments, another school of thought emerged known as the post-Keynesian economics. This theory rejected the neo-Keynesian and new Keynesian approaches in favor of a more heterodox interpretation of Keynes's ideas. Despite offering a different perspective, it has generally been less influential than the other Keynesian schools. The diagram visually represents these developments and transitions in Keynesian economic thought. Over time, 